The second engineering deliverable that I will share with you is the document list. The document list is a great place to be to you be familiar with engineering deliverables and start to understand how to estimate timesheet control. And in my point of view, it's very important that any or every engineering deliverable has a cover so you see in this that we have the document number we have some information about the project like the client the job and the area we have the title of the document and we have a revision index where you can describe in few words what was the changes that was done and in the bottom of the document there is a, a table very important that is related to revision and every engineering deliverable must must have a revision control because you need to be aware what is the document that you are working with but most important what is the revision that you are working with with also because when you are in a project revisions may change very fast and we find that control you may lead to misunderstanding this is a cover template for most documents that i i develop in word microsoft word and now let's see the document list is itself so it, it has information about the document number the project itself and revision number of sheets etc in the in in this case it is divided by disciplines but if i starting a new project i will fill only the process engineering documentation for the project manager it is document is not a document controlled by the chemical engineer but you are part of the process of verifying and listing the documents that need to be developed during the plan design so just to to have an example for you i filled the engineering memorandum and we have the document number here in the left it's very important to add a revision for that the data that it was issued and in the comments i did a small explanation about what is inside in the engineering memorandum so if you are starting a new project or if you are revising an existing project it's my recommendation for you to take a look at the document list and verify the documentation that is available for that project and what is the latest revision for you start to do your work.